Okay, here we are. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the advanced programming menu of the Balmar MC614. And advanced programming is one of the best features of this regulator. You can control almost every parameter you can think of. Uh, but the problem is that most boats that I set foot on, nobody's gone beyond setting the base battery type. And if you're spending the kind of money on this product, you really want to set it up optimally for your batteries. And the only way to really do that is not selecting a predetermined, ultra-safe, lawyer-conservative factory setting. And by that, I mean accepting the basic gel setting that, this, that we have right now. So this is why Balmar provides you with an advanced settings menu. And in order to get into that, it's very simple. Here is the Marine How To Regulator Cheat Sheet, and you can download this from the article and simply print it out and then write in what you want to change. The menu here is duplicated here so you, you know what's coming up. And in order to get to advanced programming, what we're going to see here is you touch, hold, release it pro. Now we're going to let it scroll through all the hierarchical menu items that we talked about in the last video. And when we get to the three dashes, we do a touch and hold again. We're going to touch and hold when we get there at the three dashes and then let it scroll up to AP5. Okay. Now we're going to let this scroll up to what we call AP5 and then we'll release. AP5 is our gateway into the PRA menu, which is advanced programming. Release. And this is going to move quickly here once we get into PRA. Okay. DLC is going to be first. That's our start delay. So I want the start delay set at 10. But you know what? I'm going to scroll up and then scroll back down just to show you how that works. See, it's scrolling up right now. So we release, wait till DLC reappears, and then we can scroll back in the opposite direction. Release at 10. That's what we wanted it set at. We're going to wait for the next menu item, AHL. This is our alternator high limit. This is the maximum voltage it will ever allow under any circumstances. So... Again, that was scrolling the wrong way. I release touch, and that reverses my direction of scroll. I want to set this at 14.6 volts. I'm going to release. Next one we come to is our, um, that, that was our alternator high limit. Sorry, we're going to leave that one alone. Compensation limit. This is our battery temperature compensation maximum. So we can say, even at zero degrees Fahrenheit, I don't want this battery going above 14.5 or whatever you've decided you want to set that at. But what's interesting here is I can't go beyond 14.6 right now. And there's good reason for that. It's because I've set our alternator high limit at 14.6. So all I'm going to do is release, wait till CL comes up again, and then we're going to scroll back and leave that at 14.5. Next is bulk voltage. This is a gel battery, so I want to leave this at 14.2, but again, I just scrolled up to 14.3, bulk voltage, scroll back down, 14.2 is right where I want it. B1C, this is our time, and 3 is correct, so I'm going to leave that alone. That's 3 times 6 minutes, that's 18 minutes at bulk, 14.2. Here's our absorption voltage. Again, I'm going to show you that absorption and bulk need to be a tenth of a, a volt apart. So I can't go beyond 14.2, and I can't leave it there, it won't save. So I'm going to release, AV comes up, we touch again. Absorption voltage is going to remain at 14.1 volts for this gel battery. A1C is our absorption duration, and I want to leave that at 30. That's 30 times 6 minutes. We want a nice long absorption so we can get the battery as full as we can. 13.8 is right where I want the float voltage. Float duration, I'm not going to change. We're going to leave that at the factory settings. 
ALL low limit. This is my alternator low limit, so that if my voltage goes below 12.7 is where I want it. I'm going to reverse direction to scroll. Come on. It's kind of hard with the magnet in an angle so that you guys can see. Sometimes I lose the connection. So 12.7 is where we want our low limit set at, and that can drive an alarm. FBA, this is our bulk to absorption transition. Uh, I want to leave that set at 65% and just give a word of caution on this that unless you know how you're dealing with the field percentage transitions, this is what this is, it's 65% of field before it can transition to the next stage, I would stay away from FBA and FFL. Uh, uh, alternator temp limit. I want to leave this at 110. I, I often change this, so I'm going to raise that back up to 110 degrees Celsius. And this is where we start protecting the alternator based on temp. The factory setting is a little bit too low sometimes. B1L. This is our battery over temperature limit. So I, I tend to like to have that at 48 degrees Celsius. Um, and then the next parameter is going to be our compensation slope. So for every degree change in Celsius, this is our millivolt change. And for this particular battery, I want to set that at 5. So again, we release, we did the scroll. Oop, and we're going up. Nope. I miss I, I released the magnet there because I gotta hold this at such an angle. There. So we've just gone through and set all of the parameters that we wanted to change. As you can see, you really need the magnet to be touching vertically to the red dot to get the best performance. But if you go through and you make, if you made a mistake, it's easy. This menu will scroll through three times before it saves. So all you need to do is wait for the parameter that you messed up. Let's just, for this video, let's call it absorption voltage. And we're going to wait till AV comes around. And you're going to see that we can just step back in at AV and change that voltage. We're going to move it down to 14 just for illustrative purposes. So here's our BV, bulk voltage, bulk duration, absorption voltage. Okay, we had it at 14.1. It's going up to 14.2. We're going to release, touch again. We're going to take that down to 14.0 and release. Now, the regulator is ready. It's programmed. We've set gel. Battery is the base type. We have set our belt manager. We've set our display mode. We've set our stator advisory warning. And we've now completed advanced programming. Um, so we're just going to let this scroll through three times and it will save. Once that's saved in there, you can turn off the regulator, unplug it, disconnect it. It's going to save it. If you want to wipe those changes out, you simply go in and change battery type again. And now your regulator has been reset to factory parameters for whatever battery type you're on. And then you can go back in and make all your other changes. But it's important that we maximize the regulator to your batteries so that your batteries actually perform and you get your money out of the regulator. I hope this helps put a better understanding on the magnet touches and how we program the regulator.